Mere months have passed since the world could breathe. I used to believe it was only I who felt the suffocation. I'd avoided all the various types of social media and news, but still it pervaded my life. Seeping in through casual conversations at work or out in the town. People began to speak of it like they would a sports event or pop singer, as if it were a natural phenomenon. But there is nothing natural about it, or perhaps it is too natural, something found only in our most basest of instincts. I only know if anyone else did notice a stifling of all opposing thought and speech, they do not show it. It is as if a new breed of human has arisen from the bodies of neighbors and friends. A breed that does not live on the oxygen of truth, but on the fumes of indoctrination and fear. There is not currently a governmental force to impose it upon us. Not yet. Only the force of social pressure and approval. The twitch of the lip at the hint of dissent. The blink of the eyes when hesitation is seen the flare of nostrils at the whiff of doubt. Surely these reveal the slander to come. It may not immediately present itself. It may start as questions to others regarding the infidel's commitment and from there metastasize into backbiting sabotage, then to full-blown accusation and demand for repentance. Eventually, no matter how tiny a perceived slight to the belief, the offending party shall be castigated publicly, and if they persist in their wickedness, the full power of the people state will be against them. They may be allowed to once more participate in every activity as before, but something will have irrevocably been taken from them. Their pride, their dignity, their self. For this is what the movement really wants the sacrifice of the individual for the collective. Once this has occurred, individuals within the collective can then harness the power of the collective against other individuals. As each turns on the other, dissolving all sense of order, a new order will arise, one that is harsher, crueler, and more rigid than the ones before, the great reshaping.